Ben Carson dropped out of the Republican primary today, announcing that he will commit himself to other activities and declaring that while people liked him, they just wouldn't vote for him. Really, when, and that's me cracking my fingers at this point, you know, these, these things right here, all I can think about just in reviewing his candidacy back when he first announced his campaign uh, in, your, in the earlier part of last year, not necessarily the earlier part, but just in the prime of the primary season, when all of those presidential candidates were just lining up to say, hey, I'm running for president, hey, I'm running for president. And we had a good three straight months of, of all these candidates and no one wanted to get out. It just feels as if this entire time I knew he would be a person who wouldn't make it. Not to say because he is a doctor or a neurosurgeon. It's precisely because of the fact that he is not a candidate who, in my view, has crossover appeal. And what I'm getting at is... You have Trump who will energize these younger voters, will say things that, you know, me and other people don't agree with. But at the end of the day, he will still get those voters and their support because of his positions, what he does, rhetoric he'll use. There are different types and methods he just puts into place, and it's successful. Now, with Carson, you had a person who didn't make many... To, he wasn't on SNL, to my memory, which... No, it isn't, isn't a prerequisite for president. Um, his interviews were you know, kind of whatever. But more than anything else, I think he was burdened by the fact that he did not have a strong position on foreign policy, any experience really in that field, <laughs> which has been something that's been argued of both Cruz and Rubio, and just really every first-term senator as if there's no tomorrow, and you could apply it to everyone. Every president is going to get on-the-job training because they've never done it before. <laughs> so I remember McCain made that uh, argument against Obama. We were, we were going to get a president with, who was getting on-the-job training. All of them will get that. You know, this isn't about who's been in office longest, but the you know, level of experience always helps. He had none, and as a result of that, I just couldn't see him doing well obviously Trump had none either but he had name recognition Carson didn't and this is even at the heat of his campaign while well, he was you know rising in the polls people were still you know in front of me saying who is Carson who is Ben Carson who is that and it just seems to me that this was something I have predicted this entire time not to say I'm some kind of psychic but I knew based on the way that this race was shaping up, really after the Paris attacks, and I guess the desire of the American public, or at least on the Republican side, to have a strong foreign policy in their candidate, that's really when he started to fall flat as far as his placing in the polls, how he was doing ranked up against everyone else. It just didn't seem as if anything was really going his way after November so that period from September to October maybe August September and October really those three months were the height of his campaign and then it was just this steady decline after that for about five months from November to now mid-November to early March so a good four whole months he just spent basically wallowing away in this field his rise and fall if you will and again that to be fair he had a little bit of a longer stint of popularity than most of these other candidates you had walker who was successful for all of the month he was announced which was the you know right before trump got in and i think the month after trump got in so really after july when we got into august that was pretty much the end of him so all I'm getting at is this was something that I don't think anyone didn't see coming 
if anything, we just didn't know when he would get out. I didn't think he would stick around until June and just lose every single state. But, you know, it's it's um, a candidacy that's come to an end, and some people liked it, some people didn't. I was kind of indifferent to him. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a good day.